Welcome again to the third lesson. Before we go to the upsell, it's important to, to note that under the order form is where now you'll create the product or um, upload the product. In this case, if you're selling a digital product. So under the order form, just scroll down and select the offer that you, you'll be selling. So in our case, we're doing a digital product. Let's assume we are selling an ebook. So give it a name. And then create digital product. So um, for example, if you're doing a, a course, if you're selling a course, then you need to, to choose whether it's a, under subscription, whether it's um, semi uh, part of the course that you're doing or it's like full time access, all that is um, just follow the prompts and you'll be able to upload the product. Now let's go to upsell. So upsell is where you you want to you want to entice or offer more value to your customer who just bought a product from you and you want to tell them that um hey you can take this product along with what you've just bought and you need to note that the product that you want to upsell must be related to the product the customer has just bought otherwise you'll experience a lot of cancellation and refunds customers asking for refunds so the product that you're upselling must be related to what they just bought uh, so so uh, you just need to make sure that the upsell the upsell information should appear within the first lines and the first the first paragraph or the first headline should be able to grab the customer's attention in a span of three to seven seconds so that they immediately decide whether they'll go ahead and um, say no to your offer and go with what they had bought or they might give it a thought and say let me just keep scrolling and read more and see what this offer that i'm being given what I, what extra that i can get so you must make sure that these first lines are very good in selling the offer that you have so um when they say when they click on yes i want this this button will take them to to the thank you page still but then it will it will add the product to their to their cart if it say if this if they click no thanks then it will automatically take them to the thank you page thanking them for the purchase that they just made for the first product and it's it's as simple as that you just need to work on the wordings so that you make sure that you 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 you're selling a value to them they can see the value of adding the extra products in the cart under the upsell as you can see here it's important or it's a good strategy to create a sense of urgency um, a sense of scarcity so that they can make a decision fast and add the product into the cart that way you'll be upselling and creating more value to the client remember the product that you're selling must be related to the first product that they just bought if it's for example an ebook that this customer bought then you can upsell and say hey would you want a one-on-one -on -one, um, session with me and if this person decides that along apart from having the ebook i think it would be more helpful if i got into an, a one-on-one -on -one session with the coach yeah so create a sense of urgency scarcity and um, of course give a good a good rate and something that uh, will show you also need to, to list down the like for example 
what this this offer that i'm giving you will give you versus what you will lose if you don't take up the offer yeah so it's, just, it's 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 all about the weddings make sure you do a very good copy for your upsell let me take you back a little bit to the order form you see if you already have products within within your system.ios um, account you've already uploaded products or physical i mean digital products or physical products when you're when you're selecting the offer you just need to come here and select when you click the, if you already have the product when you when you click this button it will give you a list of the products that you already have then you can choose the one that you're creating the funnel with remember um this as a free member you only are able to do one upsell so it's important for you to note that you'll be allowed to do one upsell but you can have unlimited access or unlimited upsells or um, unlimited funnels when you become a paid member again depending on the account that you choose to go with let me just show you the different plans that are available so when you're on free free plan this is what you get you're able to create um up to three funnels when you go for 27 per month plan you're able to get emails or contacts up to 5000 you can create up to 10 funnels you can do you can access all this you realize that at num at 97 everything is unlimited everything is unlimited so i would advise that you go for 47 or 97 depending on where your business is or what your business goals are to get started with the system.io use the link at the description and you can start at no at no cost or choose any of these other plans depending on your goals your budget or where your business is or whatever your business needs are.